in this video lecture we are going to discuss an interesting topic a multiple n wells can be placed in the single deep n well let's start the video One of the interviewer asked me the question that is it possible to keep a multiple VDDs or multiple N wells into the same deep N well? So that is the question. So initially my answer was no. Anyway, uh, I am 100% sure we cannot keep multiple N wells in the same deep N well and then multiple P MOSFET substrate also into a same deep N well. Both are same. Let's we figure it out in the tool what types of error we are getting. If I try to keep a multiple N wells or multiple power N wells in the same deep N well. Let me see. So in this schematic I have created the test case. So the first P mass is connected to VDD and then I have a corresponding dummy. The second P mass is the cell biasing device. Okay, it is connected to net 29. I have a corresponding dummy. So on I have third device, fourth device. Okay, each device is a self biased devices of P mass. Okay, so now I just wanted to check what types of error I am getting in the layout. Yeah, so I have already completed the layout. So now here in, in our case, we don't need any physical isolations if we are using a different N well. I just maintained N well to N well 1 micrometer. So it's a, dist it's a minimum DRC between the different N well. So now I have not added any uh, separate isolations to separate my N well. Each N wells are separated by having the minimum DRC by 1 micron, 1 micron, 1 micron. So here in our case, we have totally um, 5 devices. Each devices have the self biased device except the top one which is connected to power. Now in our case, if I run LVS, the LVS is clean. There is no problem. I don't want any extra isolations like a deep end well is not really needed for my P MOSFET devices. If in case if it is a N MOSFET device, then we need to go for a deep end well. We have a separate video for that. If you have any questions, then you can go and refer that video. So this is only for P MOSFET device. Now in the P MOSFET, we isolated the end well. Now the layout is LVS clean. Now the question is if I keep all the different different N well in the single deep N well, will it be clean the LVS? That's my question. It's a very tricky question. LVS will clean, but there is something called a soft check error. Okay, soft check and ERC error. There are two types of errors are there. If I keep a multiple N wells in the same deep N well, 100% LVS will clean, but soft check error will not clean. So now in the initial case, the device is having a n-well layer so directly i'll add one more deep n-well layer here i'll select all the device i'll go to the gathering option i'll select n-well i'll apply this n-well then this n-well need to be added deep n-well layer that's how we will add the deep n-well right yeah from the edge to edge i'll add deep n-well layer so from the top edge to the bottom edge i have added the deep n-well then we will run the lvs and see what error we are getting now we got our lvs report as i said this layout is not LVS clean because I have enabled there is something called the parasitic extraction of the diode. I have enabled the parasitic extraction of the diode. Since those options are enabled, this layout is LVS. The comparison results will not clean. Let me open each and every layer. See, there is an incorrect layer. Okay, so there is an incorrect net. Uh, this is nothing but our floating deep end well. Okay, so there is another incorrect instance. So, this incorrect instance is our parasitic extraction of our deep end well. So, now in our case, these two errors are ignorable errors because this is only a parasitic extraction of the diode and the guard ring is floating. But there is something called a soft check error. So, in this soft check error, we can clearly see that there is a soft check error in the deep and well contact. So, net 1, net 2, net 3, net 4 and net 8, all the nets are floating net. It is not an actual error. Now, it is a floating error because the nets are not properly connected in the power. So, if I open the layout, 
this deep and well guard ring usually it has to be connected to the power now in our case i have not added any connections to the deep and well the deep and well is still floating so that's why we are getting all the connections are floating error now if i connect the deep and well into any potential like usually we need to connect to the power make sure that deep and well should be always connected to vdd potential now i just connected the vdd here so now the deep and well is connected into vdd now one more time we need to check the lvs what error we are getting so now after connecting the deep and well guard ring into a vdd potential now see still there is the same comparison results error okay so there is the same error we have a floating net and we have an incorrect instant but in the soft check error we see something called the net 2347 is rejected by vdd because in our layout we have a multiple guard rings here so we have our multiple guard rings so we have a one another device which is connected to net 29 we have a bottom we have one more device that is connected to net 15 then we have third device then we have four device so totally we have four devices here all the four devices are connected into a self bias device so the guard ring is connected into its own potential that's why in this LVS error we are getting four devices have four contacts so totally we have four errors all the envelopes are connecting physically by VDD so the net VDD is creating a stamping conflict between the net 2 and net 3 net 4 and net 5 so we concluded what is the final answer so there is no possibilities of keeping a multiple VDD or multiple self biased devices of P MOSFET cannot be kept into a common deep and well guard ring. So now in this case our deep and well is creating a direct shot to the multiple envelopes. So this is not possible. I hope I have given some valuable information to you in this video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video please click like button and share this video to your friends. For more details about this video, please contact us to my email id and follow us on my facebook page and twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button.